Hello and welcome back to the Reaper. So we're on our Focke Wolf 190 again and we're going to do the cold start tutorial. So, Charles, if you're ready, uh, take, it, take it away, please. Alright, so we're going to start off by looking at our main circuit breaker panel, the one to the front, mm -hmm. and pushing in all the circuit breaker. All is on standby. What are those little red things next to them? Are they, is that something to take note of? It's to pop the circuit breakers back out again. Yep, I see. Right, it's on and well, it's doing stuff. And wow, that looks cool. What a nice cockpit, right? Yeah. Okay, start. that's uh, done. Move slightly back and turn on your nav lights if you want them, as well as the fuel pumps you will need. So in our case, that's the first two ones, so the front and rear. We will not need Sonda because it's only for external tanks, but we will need the MW50. Yep, fine, got all that done. Move to the bottom right of the dash and turn on your oxygen supply. Stand by. Is it clockwise? Mm, yes. Yep. Roger. Alright, you'll probably also want to uncage your gyro while you're at it, so you're not going to forget it after. That's, I've turned it anti-clockwise, Roger. Now, bottom left of the dash, your fuel select a big red lever. Put that all the way up in the alpha position. Roger. Uh, next to your throttle, Zündung, all the way forward to M plus 2, M1 plus 2. Throttle all the way forward as uh, the main throttle lever? Not the throttle, next to it, uh, the magnetos. Oh, right, all the way forward to M1 plus 2, yeah? Yes. Uh, to the right of that, the iron uh, switch to uh, forward, it's our MW50. Yep, that's on. Make sure you unlock the throttle by pressing right, alt and home. Right, Alt and Home, done, and I can now move the throttle. Set your flaps to the takeoff position, that's the yellow button behind the throttle. Flaps, takeoff position, and I confirm that it's moving 50 degrees, 40 degrees. Wow, oh, they're slow, aren't they? Should go all the way to 10. That's quicker than the BF109, I think, at least. Wow. Okay, uh, they're moving. Uh, make sure your trim is centered in case you played around with it before. Okay, so we can see that it's um, slightly off, so we're just going to go up and up and up. No, nope, that's the wrong way. And trim is centered. Alright, now look between your circuit breaker panels, um, where your starter switch is. Uh, between the circuit breaker panels, where the starter switch Roger, un uh, I right, to one click or keep hold of it? Uh, open up the cover mm -hmm. and hold it in, so left click, for about 15 to 20 seconds at least. Stand by, pressing. And when that time has elapsed, you instantly switch over to a right click. So you pull it out, that should start the engine. Should I, um, when it's done, should I let go of left first and then press right? Yeah. Okay. okay. So you tell me when to do that. Have a look at my prop and tell me when you think it's. I can't see that your prop actually, it's not moving yet. Okay. I don't dare look up because I'll lose this button. Uh, you can actually look away as long as you hold down the button, you don't need to have the mouse directly on it. Roger, noted. Okay, not turning yet. But, uh, probably have, it should probably be enough time now, I didn't actually time it myself now. So, you let go and you instantly hold right click on it. Stand by. just hold it until you can stop. Okay, so I'm letting go left now, and now I'm pulling right. Hey! And um, when do I let go? Of right. As soon as the engine is running, you can do that. How oh, cool! Okay, that's a nice little starter. I'm well, the one thing that is still important before you actually start taxiing, you want to hold your brakes, throttle up slightly to about a thousand to twelve hundred uh, RPM. It's in the bottom right of your that. Brakes on. Throttling up. Um, to what RPM? A uh, thousand to a thousand two hundred, roughly. Roger, got that. Is that to warm it up? Yeah, you want to hold that until your oil temperatures at the bottom center of your dash, the orange one. Yep. Is all the way up to 40 degrees. Roger. And as soon as we're there, we can throttle up a bit further to about 1800 uh, until our coolant is somewhere between 16 and 17. Stand by. Um, I'm just going to quickly throttle down and close the canopy style because I'm a bit of death. You can, by the way, just hold left control C. Roger, I just used the mouse wheel to do it on that kind of be crank there. Right, that's lovely and quiet now. Uh, so up to 1800, you said, to get a bit of it. As soon as your oil is at 40 degrees. 
Roger, it is. So I'm going up to 1800, stand by. 1800 RPMs and oil temperature is increasing. Slowly. So you want to keep there until your coolant is at, le at least 60 to 70 degrees and then you're good to go. Wow, that was uh, pretty easy. And I do like this cockpit, it is rather sexy, I'm not going to lie. Well, she was in knots. Good, we can uh, start taxiing. Roger, so that's it. After you, Once you're up to 60 to 70, you're done, yeah? Right, so I'm just going to power down now. That is the uh, end of the startup. Anything else to add to that, Stahl? A negative, that should cover it. Right, I hope that helps, and we'll see you later.